Hi again, this is Fia and welcome back. Today I thought we I would make an um, art journal page and I thought I would use this little flower fairy. I had uh, I have uh, uh, colored in with colored pencil using some gamsol or uh, um, um, tinner type in Swedish. Um, and I thought she would make a nice little focal for my art journal page. And I have, and I can show you the book she's from. She's from this coloring book, uh, the Flora Fairies, Fairies coloring book by Carol Craig. And uh, since these are double sided, I made a copy out of this, just an ordinary copy paper, and paint or colored it in. Um, so I th I'm thinking she would go nicely like something like this, maybe. But I'm gonna do the background before I glue her in. And for the background, I'm using uh, Vallejo uh, Acrylic Studio in sap green. I'm gonna use some Liquitex Basics in Dioxazine Purple. And I'm gonna use some PBO Dyna Paint, which is an iridescent, and this is... Uh, iridescent green yellow and I might even go in with some gesso but I'm gonna put out my paints here on my little palette and I think I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of finger painting today I don't know I feel like I need to get my fingers dirty for once before I continue I'm gonna go and put on my uh, invisible glove cream that I keep forgetting to use. So today I need to remember it since I'm gonna use my fingers to paint. And this is like a lotion. You just make sure you get it in under your nails, around your cuticles, uh, to make getting the paint off easier. And it takes about a minute or something like that to dry and it makes uh, so the paint doesn't go in your skin or discolor your skin as easily and I'm gonna get myself a brush and I actually splurged and got myself some new brushes here the other week Try that one. So here I have my little palette of colors. Let's see if I can get this. So, and a piece of paper where I'm gonna dot my brush off, and I'm gonna start off with the sap green and just get some paint on it. Lob it on, and then I'm gonna go in with my fingers and move it around or with my whole hand. And you get a different kind of gradation on the paint when you do it like this, it doesn't become uh, you don't get the brush strokes, but you get thicker and thinner layers, and it's it can be a little bit easier to blend uh, using your hands as your brush, so to speak. And I'm just so I don't get too much. And I'm just going in with the purple. I love this purple. Such a beautiful, vibrant color. The green as well. And the perbio I have just fallen in love with. I need to make a jelly printing session uh, using those. And maybe some art tissue a la, or some tissue paper a la uh, Paritale Parish. 
for some collage folder as well. Okay, I'm just gonna take a baby wipe, wipe up, wipe off the worst of the paint on my fingers, so I don't take my <laughs> heat gun and make it all sticky. And I'm gonna use my heat gun. It's not completely dry, but as I move the page, you can clearly see the PBO paint, the shimmer in it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go in over this purple as well. And I'm picking green to match up a little bit with the paint, uh, with the colors on the picture, but purple to set, uh, to offset the colors I've used, since there's not any purple in the picture I have colored. Let's see, maybe some. Set green here. Okay. Once again, getting a baby wipe to get out the worst. The thing with the um, with the uh, invisible glove is, since it's water reactive. When you use it uh, with uh, with baby wipes and stuff, it takes away this uh, invisible glove as well. So if you're doing it a lot, you need to like reapply uh, it after a while. Okay, and I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna look for some. Stencil, and I think I'm gonna use this Tim Holtz one, the doily one. Get myself a, a makeup wedge, and I'm gonna go in on the green with the purple. And I'm thinking I'm doing some spring cleaning and I have not been in the mood for creating for a while. I don't know. I just had a, a time where I wasn't feeling creative. And when I was creative, I was creating like painting miniatures and stuff. Uh, but once I'm done with my spring cleaning, I thought maybe I'd take you on a tour of all my different places I have here in my apartment. Uh, where I create. I'm kind of liking that one. And I'm pretty good with my stencils. I don't know if I've told you before, but I clean them properly after every single time I've used them. Um, Supplies are usually pretty expensive here in Sweden, um, and I really want my supplies to last a long time, uh, and that's why I try to keep my things clean. And that's why you see this looks uh, looks almost like it's never been used before, but I have used it quite a bit actually. But I usually soak it in water and stuff. Uh, and then uh, um, after I'm done with it, I thought I'd just do get my desk journal out while I still have some paint left here and use some stenciling. And this I try to do as much as I can. Uh, and since I recently started doing uh, project lifestyle type scrapbooking as well, 
I'm thinking these kind of papers could be great for that uh, as background cards or filler cards or stuff like that and I usually use them for like when I make cards like birthday cards and stuff like this or in mixed media as well I can go in and uh, rip pieces of them and stuff for collage stuff since this is like copy thickness of paper and that's also why I never do the back sides of these papers I just do the one side uh, so if I want to use them for something uh, I uh, I can glue them easily okay so now I've done this I'm gonna just take one of my baking sheet papers and stick it in put it to my side take my little wedge put it in my water where I have for my brushes and I'm also gonna start it seeping a bit on my little stencil so I'm just going to make sure that the back side of my stencil is clean because I'm going to change colors. I don't mind if there's a little bit of uh, color variation, but uh, I don't want purple splotches on the purple. And here you see, I clean my wedges and I can use them over and over and over again, which I love, so I don't waste them. It happens I forget to clean them and I have to cut off the top and stuff of them because they dry. But usually I try to be good about it and clean them out. I'm kind of frugal that way. Uh, so now I'm going in with the PBO mixed with a bit of the sap green. Uh, to make it stand out a bit more and it almost makes it a little bit like a green gold color see I think I'm gonna do it this way You see, I'm not being too uh, specific or nothing. I'm just trying to get the paint where I see purple through the stencil. Oh, there I was using a bit too much paint. Doesn't matter. Okay. Texture. My phone cut off. Uh, but you see, here I got some extra paint. Uh, it seeped through because I had a bit too much paint on my sponge. It just gives it a little bit more texture. Like so. Kind of like that. Kind of a funky, shimmery look. Okay, move my little book out of the way and use up the last of my paints okay this is almost dry and I'm thinking we might want some splatters and I'm thinking we want them white so I'm just taking a little daub of gesso and spraying on some water and then I'm getting one of my fan brushes and this will go everywhere so I'm just gonna keep Once again, not wasting. I 
I'm just going in, using up my little gesso water. Oh, I should try. I tried, I think it was ATG Jamie made some splatter brushes from uh, old, uh, what do you call it? Uh, brushes that you brush your floor with. Uh, but I haven't tried yet, I just made them. They make interesting, they make more like um, striped splatters, which is kind of cool. Do one more. And it's just toothpick, uh, some bristles from a sweeping brush, uh, and a rubber band. Okay, cool. Okay. Once again, you can. Okay, <clears throat> so this is dry now. Uh, and I think I'm gonna use some uh, Liquitex Basics uh, Matte Gel Medium to glue this puppy down. Just get rid of some dry boogers. Something to poke with. Just cleaning up one of my brushes. I'm gonna put a layer of matte medium down where I want her. And then I'm gonna put a layer of matte medium on the back of the picture. Making sure to go to the edges so it sticks down properly, especially these small parts. And then I'm going over her and the whole picture with another layer of matte medium. Let's make sure she's completely down. And while I'm doing this, I'm also thinking about what this picture should say. I like to put sentiments on my art journal pages and I don't really know yet what I wanted to say it will come to me <laughs> usually does but okay and then as a last step I'm gonna take this gift card and I'm just gonna scrape scrape it down to make sure it's smooth like so 
And then once again, heat gun! Okay, so far so good. It's up. Oh, don't stick stuff in the gel medium. Let's see. So far so good. I'm liking this so far. I like this almost mystical fairy type background it became. And I think my sentiment will be on top of this. Straight up. I think I'm going to use some gold. And I'm going to pull this towards me so I can reach to right. Maybe it needs to be white. Okay. Hmm, paint pen. See if my Posca works. Still a little bit moist. That's why it's being a bit of a hassle. Now, maybe you can see what it says. It says, allow yourself to be loved. Uh, a thing I think we forget, and not to say the least, love, uh, loved by ourselves. And I'm kind of liking that. It's pretty simple. And yet, I love this picture. I thought, I feel it came out pretty good. And I'm just going to sign it. And date it. And that's it. That's the page for today. I might uh, go in and outline this in black once it's dried. And then I'll come back with a small uh, just show and tell or uh, insert a picture in the in the end of this but that's it thanks so much for watching have a great day bye